Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all Denarians on the go and in the know. Today is November 29, 2019. Download your free trial copy of the new CEP, Currency Exchange Planner. Rated the number one exchange planner by Denarians for Denarians for both pre and post RV planning. The link is in the description below. I encourage you, knowledge is power. Stay informed and stay alert. First article of interest. A delegation from the region will visit Baghdad next week to sign the oil and budget agreement. A delegation from the Kurdistan region will visit Baghdad next week to sign a formal agreement with the federal government on oil and the budget. MP Mayada al Nayar said in a press statement on Thursday that the dialogues between Erbil and Baghdad have reached their final stages indicating that a delegation from the regional government will visit Baghdad next week to sign the agreement. Nayar added that the return of the Kurdish government delegation to Baghdad comes in order to sign the agreement reached by the two sides during the talks between them during the last period. She explained that according to the information received, the provincial government is seeking to install the largest possible share of financial resources in favor of the region and the general budget law for the year 2020, noting that there is no talk about raising the share of the region from 12.67% to 17% of the Iraqi general budget. Next article of interest. Political expert calls for the trial of Abdul Mahdi internationally. The political expert, Basil Hussein, on Friday, called for the trial of Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi, internationally after the crimes committed against the demonstrators. Hussein told al Akbariya that Abdul Mahdi's demand for resignation is no longer sufficient. Article 28 of the Rome Statute of the Criminal Court states that the commander is criminally responsible for the crimes committed if he knows or does not intervene by preventing or ignoring any information that could prevent the crimes from occurring. In the past two days, Najaf and Nasiriyah provinces have witnessed bloody incidents, which resulted in the death and injury of dozens of demonstrators. Next article of interest. Deputy Abdul Mahdi, I did not imagine that you will end your history, blood, as it is happening now. A deputy from Nineveh province called on Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi to resign because of the bloody events and the killing of peaceful demonstrators. I never imagined that you would cling to the chair as you do now, and I did not imagine you would end your social and political history, with blood, as it is now, Ahmed al Jarba said in a statement to Abdul Mahdi. He added, you have to know that some leaders of the political blocs who support you on the pretext that you are the safety valve of Iraq and that the country needs your presence in these circumstances, they are not honest in their first and last goal of their partisan personal and financial interests only to change, do not seduce their sweet words. Al Jarba, advising Abdul Mahdi, said, You have to appear this evening in a televised statement and ask the political blocs to agree on a substitute for you. He also called on him to declare three days of mourning for the martyrs who died during the past two days. Next article of interest. The text of the Supreme Reference Sermon on Friday. Our agency publishes the text of the Supreme Religious Reference Sermon on Friday. The text of the sermon read by the representative of the Supreme Reference in Karbala, Mr. Ahmed al-Safi, the Supreme Religious Reference follows with deep sorrow and regret the news of the recent clashes in a number of cities, especially wounded in Assyria and Najaf, and the shedding of much of the precious blood and exposure to many property burning and vandalism. He added that the religious authority, having mercy on the martyrs and the condolences of their families and calls for their patience and solace and the wounded to speedy recovery reaffirms the inviolability of attacks on peaceful demonstrators and prevent them from exercising their right to demand reform, as well as the care of the inviolability of public and private funds, and the need not to leave vulnerable peaceful demonstrators should distinguish themselves from non-peaceful people and cooperate in the expulsion of saboteurs, whoever they are, and do not allow them to exploit peaceful demonstrations to harm the property of citizens and attack their owners. He continued, given the difficult circumstances experienced by the country, and the apparent deficit in dealing with the authorities concerned with the developments of the last two months in order to preserve rights and inject blood, 
the House of Representatives from which the current government is invited to reconsider its options in this regard and act in the interest dictated Iraq and the preservation of the blood of its people, and avoid sliding into a cycle of violence, chaos and devastation, and is called to accelerate the adoption of a package of electoral legislation that is satisfactory to the people in preparation for free and fair elections whose results sincerely reflect the will of the Iraqi people. The procrastination and procrastination in the conduct of this path, which is the appropriate gateway to overcome the current crisis in a peaceful and civilized way under the roof of the Constitution, will cost the country a high price and everyone will regret it. The enemies and their tools are planning to achieve their malicious goals, from spreading chaos and devastation to internal fighting and then bringing the country back to an abhorrent dictatorship, Safi said. He stressed that, the religious authority will remain a support for the Iraqi people decent, and have only advice and guidance to what it considers in the interest of the people, and it remains for the people to choose what he deems fit for the present and future without guardianship of anyone. Next article of interest. A baddie after Sistina sermon calls on parliament to form a new, independent, government. The head of the coalition, Nasser, Haider al Abadi on Friday called on the Iraqi parliament to form a new government. Abadi said in a statement, We support the statement of the Supreme Religious Reference on 29 November 2019, and call on the Iraqi Council of Representatives to hold a special session tomorrow to withdraw confidence from the government and the formation of an independent new government, and the completion of a fair electoral law and the formation of an independent election commission to hold early free and fair elections in partnership with the United Nations. We also reaffirm the accountability of the perpetrators and killers the peaceful demonstrations to achieve their national objectives away from the harm to public and private lives and property, and the need for national cohesion to ensure the unity and stability of the country to avoid chaos or the unknown or return to times of despotic dictatorships. Sistani said that the House of Representatives, which emerged from the current government is invited to reconsider its options in this regard and act in the interest of Iraq and preserve the blood of its people and avoid sliding into a cycle of violence, chaos and devastation. Next article of interest, Al-Baldawi. We have given a full mandate to Abdul Mahdi to replace the ministers. Al-Fatih MP Muhammad Al-Baldawi said on Friday that the Sadiqan Parliamentary Bloc and the Fatih Alliance in general gave Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi a full mandate to replace ministers regardless of their affiliations. Al-Baldawi said in a statement to the information that the next ministers will be independent and will be selected by Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi, away from any political affiliation. He added that the Sadiqan Parliamentary Bloc and the Fatah Alliance in general granted the full mandate of Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi to replace any minister, regardless of the mass and affiliation, as the Prime Minister is free to replace ministers. He pointed out that, these changes came within the deadline granted by the political blocs to the Prime Minister extended for 45 days to bring about change and to provide the aspirations of the people of radical reforms in the joints of the state. Next article of interest. The Dawa party urges the selection of a Prime Minister who satisfies everyone. We see the beginnings of civil war. The Islamic Dawa party called on the House of Representatives to choose an alternative candidate to head the current government, shortly after the religious authority invited Parliament to consider its options for the government. The Dawa party said in a statement, To ensure that things do not get worse and reach civil war and infighting, which we are almost beginning to see, the Islamic Dawa party calls the House of Representatives to convene immediately and take the necessary constitutional steps to find a government alternative that meets the national ambition. He calls on the parliamentary blocs and political leaders to present an alternative candidate for the post of Prime Minister characterized by strength, sincerity, professionalism and integrity, which is acceptable to all and supported by the broad political and social spectrum, with the majority of its components to form a strong government that will burden the stage and respond to its requirements. We are firmly convinced that the House of Representatives will perform its constitutional role away from political pressure and foreign interventions, 
choose the alternative by purely Iraqi will, and accelerate the vote on a new fair election law and the formation of an efficient professional commission. We also call on our armed forces to maintain the entity of the state and national security. We call on peaceful demonstrators and security forces to cooperate seriously and expel vandal engineers, in order to create the best conditions for accomplishing the difficult parliamentary task. Be sure and hit the like and subscribe button to be alerted on new news as it unfolds from Iraq. Don't forget to grab your free trial copy of the CEP, Currency Exchange Planner, the number one must-have tool, for the currency exchange for both pre- and post-RV planning, the link is in the description box below. Remember to stay informed and stay alert, knowledge is power, more articles of interest to come, over and out for now, the Dinarian.